Why? Is, it, is this something Franco said to you when he was here? Do you choose? Or is that for Jason? Choose what? Choose what? I don't know what the hell Franco wants from me. Franco said when he was here. Dr. Drake. Ronnie. Hey, Ronnie. I'm going to get the doctor. I don't understand why Franco would go after a mid-level guy like Ronnie. Franco's not even in the business. Well, well, maybe it was just that random. I mean, maybe he did it so he could prove that he could get to anyone. What Franco does is random. He's sending me a message. What's the word, Doctor? Mr. Domestico has lost a lot of blood. So what can you do for him? Keep him transfused and hope he regains consciousness. Mr. Franco, he couldn't wait. But he, uh, he asked me to give this to you. What is that? It's my goddaughters. Hey, is everything okay? Yeah. Why wouldn't it be? Okay, where's, uh, where's Jeff's? Doing some last minute Christmas shopping. I'm sure he bought out the entire infant department of Wyndham's. What's up, man? You look worried. I just have a lot on my mind right now. Yeah, me too. Michael. What's this something? <sighs> no, no. Sonny came over and asked that the boys could come over for dinner. And it all seems so normal, but it'll never be normal, not after what happened with Claudia. So it just. You're not here because of Michael. You've seen this, right? Oh my gosh! It's Jocelyn's hat! My mom got this for her. We were looking all over the place. Where did you find this? It was left for me as a message by Franco. Franco? The artist? Why would he have Jocelyn's hat? Where did you meet Franco? I didn't. I, I have no idea how I got this hat. Well, think. I mean, did you meet anyone new? Any, any strangers? No. There was a guy at the Christmas tree lot. He was dark hair, I guess early 30s, kind of weird. I mean, I only talked to him for okay, a second. Okay, well, what did he say to you? You're freaking me out. Can you just please try to remember, Carly? I don't know. He just rambled. He, I was there to get a tree. I had Jocelyn with me. He went on about how he had lost his daughter. And, and then he said weird stuff. He said that if, if someone extends an invitation and invites you into their home, that you should show respect and, and not treat them like something you'd scrape off the bottom of your shoe. I don't know why he was saying that stuff to me. Wait a second. He also said to tell your friend that he, I guess you, uh, he, that you should have shown more respect. Messenger. Franco wanted you to tell me. I don't understand. Neither do I. Whoa, whoa, you seemed really worried. And you never get worried. You're scaring me. I'm, I'm okay. I just need to take care of this. I hope you don't mind. I like it. You know, it's just uh, strange walking in and seeing me here. Yeah, um, I know. I like it. One of our, uh, one of our guys. I don't know. Hmm. He's got a name 
Romani. He's uh, he's alive, but he's in pretty bad shape. Frank will find a way to get to Carly. And this is all about sending me a message. Well, any idea what it's supposed to mean? He wants me to know that he knows everything about me. Who matters to me. He's made it very clear that I have to play his game to keep the people I care about safe. You did not invite Franco into your life. You didn't ask him to fixate on you, and it's not your fault. He's crazy. You're right, I didn't invite him, but he picked me anyway. And there is a reason for that. Franco is not retribution for the life he lived, and no matter how many times he says that, you are not alike. Thank you. Not for trying to help. Just for everything. Mm. Thank you for letting me. Since uh, Mexico, everything's you know, changed. And I don't know if you want to hear it because I don't want you to feel pressured, but, you know, with everything that's going on, I think I should tell you. Yeah.